in some houses, the ventilation for the attic is through vents right here in the soffit, called soffit vents. In this case, I stopped here because there's a vent right here. That's not a soffit vent. That would be a vent for an exhaust fan from a bathroom. And that's okay. It's a bit better if they vent up like through a gable um, or through a wall or through the roof even. The, the disadvantage of this is it's sending all this moist air down here and sometimes that can freeze in a very cold winter. But it's better than nothing. Having it vent directly into your attic, which is what many people have, that's pretty bad. It's taken all the moisture that that fan is pulling out of your bathroom or pulling out of your kitchen and it's sending it into the attic where ice will form, which can lead to mold, which can lead to rotting the roof deck, which can lead to degrading the insulation that's up there. All sorts of issues can come from that. So if you find that any of your exhaust fans aren't vented directly to outside, do something about that. It's not a good idea to leave it venting in the attic. There's a vent and it's got the little flapper like it's supposed to, so that's good. That means air won't blow in and mice can't get in. That's probably for an exhaust fan for a bathroom. This is your typical sort of vent you see for dryers. And I can tell it's got a little bit of lint, <laughs> so I'm sure it's for the dryer. But you see how it's cracked here? That's not great. That means air is blowing in and again, mice can get in. So this is an easy thing to fix. Um, they're cheap to buy. You just pull it out and replace it. Mm -hmm.